Hello, my name is Jim Reese with Technical Sales International, TSI. I'm going to show you briefly today an overview of taking an AutoCAD Revit MEP 2010 file, being duct or pipe, and pulling that into the manufacturing solution of CamDuct, the most widely used manufacturing cutting software in the HVAC industry, and also the CAD duct and CAD mech as well. So what I'm going to use to do that is I'm going to use a new software package developed uh, by MAP uh, called FabDuct and FabMech. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a Revit file here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take in by selecting the components. And I'm going to go to our add-in. We're a third-party developer on top of AutoCAD. We have been for several years. And what I'm doing is I am going to our program that we developed within the API provided in 2010. And I am exporting that information. Go to my gas pipe here. Send that out. Send that as natural gas. And I've got a storm pipe here as well. And we'll call that SD for storm drain. So now that I've got that selected and sent out, I'm going to go to again FabDuct and FabMech. And the services here are provided directly out of our CAM software and or the CAD Mech software. So if I select the supply air low pressure, two inch water gauge, and import run, go to the supply air and import that run. It uses design line. Our technology allows us to pull in the components automatically. So this is the Revit file. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to the return error. Import that run. And you'll see that file right there. And I'll pull in those two piping services, one being the natural gas. As you'll see right here. And the plumbing on that, we'll pull in the storm drain. As I pull this in, this is going to be a flat system right here. So what I'd really like to do is go ahead and define that to be a slope system. And if I go ahead and put that in a side view here, you can see it's just flat. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and modify that system. by making this design line active. And I'll just take off those piping materials. I'll go to Edit. Use a Windows selection set to uh, grab those components. I'm going to right click and go to fall. I'm going to go ahead and set that fall here at 1 to 96 and you'll see that line slope out as I go ahead and auto fill that. And I need to set my source right here. So now you'll see from the uh, side view here that that pipe is sloped towards us there, okay, sloping down towards me. If I put that back in the isometric view, you'll see it right here. All right. So uh, that directly pulls it directly into our system. And now what I want to do is take that into the manufacturing. So I'm going to say save job as, and I'm going to put that down in here, and we'll just call this Revit to cam duct, save that file, so I'm going to go ahead and close it out. And I have cam duct right here, so I'm going to come here, I'll go ahead and browse jobs. Because it's an integrated solution, you'll see that Revit to cam duct is right here. And when I go ahead and open that up, See that there's my manufactured 
components. Okay. Now each one of these components right here is also hooked to our estimating system. If I right click on that right there and um, let's see the best way to do this is to show the manufacturing. So here's our component. It's using the pressure class of two inch water gauge to manufacture that. Here's the development of the pattern. Bottom cheek, throat wrap, back wrap. And if I come right here and process this job, we'll go ahead and let that nest out the process. And while that's thinking over there, I'm gonna go to our CAD duct and CAD mech, and I'm going to open that file. Projects. I'm going to open up this file so you can see it inside of uh, CAD Duct and CAD Mech. And so if we get down in closer here and look at these components. If I want to know what the cost of each of these components are, you'll see it right here. This is $179.14 broken down by material cost, the connector cost, which includes the bolts, the gaskets, the cleats, everything required to manufacture this. Now this is based on our S-Duct and S-Mech product. So if I go here and sample something in the uh, mechanical side, you'll see here's a um, Harrison pricing service for the pricing. We have uh, labor standards that we have for the mechanical components. And uh, we also get down to the how it's connected to the pipe itself. So that's a threaded valve uh, that I'll go ahead and put threaded into a, a threaded system. If that was a copper system, you would put MAP adapters in there automatically. So depending on what your process is and what you're trying to accomplish, you can take a Revit MEP file, pull it in for estimating purposes. You can take a Revit MEP file, pull it into CAD Duct and CAD Mech to provide it more detailing information. We call that our uh, manufacturing BIM. We see a lot of solutions out there for the design of creating uh, Revit drawings. And there's a lot of contractors out there and solution providers that want to provide more detail about what is actually taking place. And they do that providing the rich data content that's supported in CAD duct and CAD mech and S duct and S mech. So let's go back over here to the uh, cutting software. You'll see it's uh, doing its auto nesting right now for the manufacturing table. I mentioned earlier that CAM duct is the most widely used manufacturing software available in the marketplace. This includes both metric and imperial. So that process is done. And if I go ahead and uh, expand this out, go to job contents and look at the nested components, you'll see that all the components are nested out right here. This NC code we can write out to tables anywhere um, from Lawformer, Advanced Cutting Systems, uh, Vicon, um, Multicam, uh, including insulation cutters and processing of insulation as well. And so you can see right there, this is simulating the path of the head for the plasma cut of these components. So, to the best of our knowledge, we are the first ones to create a manufacturing solution directly out of, Auto, of uh, Revit MEP 2010. And um, it's being used by the CamDuck software right here, along with the CADDuck software is being used by 75% of the top mechanical contracts in the United States. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the presentation.